Good morning, folks. It's November 25th. It is 7.01 in the morning. I'm going to continue my quest to find some new docks. Uh, we're going to do some dock shooting again today. I'm going to try to show you what I look for when uh, I go out just looking for new docks. I'm going to try to hold the camera and show you my graph. I'm in my Pantera 2, my bass cat, uh, that I keep down here at the lake. I've got a Pantera, or I'm sorry, a, a bass cat Jaguar uh, back at my home in Columbia that I use for my tournament boat. It's a little bit bigger. has big graphs. I've got some 12-inch Lawrence's, 11-inch uh, Hummingbirds. This boat uh, is, a, is a pretty basic, simple boat. It's a great boat for dock shooting, one pulling around timber because it's smaller. It's more maneuverable. Um, this boat, I've got an 899 Humminbird on the dash and an 859, I think it is, on the front. Got side imaging on this. I want to show you, you don't have to have these big 12-inch graphs. They sure are nice. They have a great picture. But if you don't have that, you can still use your side imaging. You can come out here and look at these docks, uh, look under these docks. I'm going to go along. Uh, try to show you my graph, show you what I'm looking for. I'm going to start over here. I haven't fished these docks before. I haven't been over here, but I'm looking for a couple of things. I know from the last couple of days, these fish have been on uh, docks that are in deeper water. I've shot some shallower docks back in the back of coves. I just hadn't had much uh, success. Uh, docks that have had at least 20 to 30 to 40 feet of water out in front of them seem to have been uh, better than the shallower docks. A lot of times that jig has to fall and fall and, and uh, I've caught some fish pretty deep. You'll catch some right up under the foam. They're sort of scattered. But I looked at my map before I came out here. A couple of things I like about this. Number one, uh, this is a deeper bank. Number two, it's right near a main secondary point. These fish also seem to be uh, bigger and better closer to the main lake. So I'm going to start over here. There's a real slight breeze. It's 45 degrees this morning. There's a slight breeze and usually when I'm looking at docks I'll go with the wind and look at them and then when I get down at the end of a row of docks I'll turn around and be ready to fish because I like to fish into the wind. It's just easier to hold the boat on the dock if you're go, uh, fishing along a uh, a line of docks with the wind. The wind just seems to blow you off of it. You're continually fighting it. Into the wind, you can shoot. The wind blows you back. You come back forward. So I'm going to take the camera off the uh, tripod there and I'm going to hold it. I'm going to be going into the wind so we'll look at these docks that way and if I find something I like then I'll turn around come back. We'll set up and we'll shoot some of them and see if we can find some fish. Assuming I see something on the side imaging I like as we go down this uh, bank. So stay with me, I'll, I'll uh, turn off the camera, get it in my hand, and uh, we'll get started. Okay, so before I start up the big motor, I'll just uh, tell you a little bit about how uh, I set this up. I've got this on a graph uh, where I've got three different views. Side imaging, traditional, uh, sonar, and then down imaging. I'm going to switch this over uh, to just side imaging. And all these docks are going to be on my left side. So I'm going to hit my menu, and I'm going to switch this over to the left side. So my boat is along this line right here. You can see this little boat image up here. And so on the left side will be the docks. Uh, so, so that's what we'll do. I'll start up, we'll get over here, we'll start going again. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna approach these docks. As you can see, I'm in 59 feet of water. I like that right off the bat. I like the deep water. We'll start to come in here and you'll start to see the bank uh, and underneath the, the docks, the ground uh, show up more here as the, it gets a little shallower. All right, we're 
approaching the dock. The transducer's on the back of the boat, so we'll uh, we'll travel past the dock a little bit before it starts to show up. And I've got I'm um, shooting 50 feet out to the left side. 42 feet of water, I like that. All right, now the transducer's just getting to the dock. Okay, there's some stuff under the dock. Clearly, I see some little spots. Those are fish. I like the looks of that dock right off the bat. We'll have to come back. There's some little white dots in there showing some fish. We approach this next dock. The bank kind of cuts in. It's getting a little shallower, but still has the depth I like. I like the looks of that dock we just passed. All right, now we're approaching this dock. It's got some stuff under it too. I like the looks of that. I really like the looks of that. It's got a lot of white dots in there. I think those are fish. It's got some stuff under the dock. Picking up some of the foam too. Uh, but you can see stuff underneath there. I'll tell you, I'm not the world's greatest interpreter of these uh, images, but uh, I think I can see it and understand it well enough to know if there's some fish in there. Now this one's 18 feet of water. I'm, it's coming back up now. I'd prefer to have a little deeper. Well, it's 25 now, that's good. Uh, there's some stuff in there. Doesn't look too bad. I may have hit the jackpot right off the bat. There's three docks I'm gonna hit. Take a look at this one. See what it looks like. Well, it's probably worth a shot as well. All right, that's uh, what four docks. Uh, I'm gonna turn around, turn the camera off, reposition, and we'll fish a little bit. I'll tell you while we're uh, while we're idling back to where we want to start, I'm gonna go up to the start of these docks. I'll show you my fish stringer. I've had a lot of people ask me about my stringer. I just took two cable stringers. Uh, when you buy these at uh, Bass Pro or wherever, they usually have ten hooks on them. Well, the daily limit in Missouri is 15 fish, so I simply took uh, two stringers, took five hooks off one, put it on the other. So I've got exactly 15 hooks on this thing. And uh, as I catch a fish, I put it on there, put it down in the live well, and uh, just, just go along. That way I know exactly how many fish I have. And when I'm done, I can just pull them out with my stringer. I don't have to fish them out, dig them out, uh, Works pretty good. Okay, we're gonna get started. Boy, that sun is right in my eyes, blinding me, but we're approaching this dock and we'll get out in front. These sides, there's not much cover. That's not really a big swim platform and locked up with floats so you can't get very far in there. So I'm gonna start out on the end. Now we're getting over here on this side where there's a big swim platform, which will throw a lot more shade. A lot of times they'll be closer to or directly under this, uh, the big swim platforms. But don't overlook in between these uh, boat lifts. Oh. Something nipped at it. Good dark area right here between this boat lift and this swim platform. If you can shoot one right in that gap. Oh man, there ought to be a fish there. 
you can just about tell it by looking at the shade and how dark it is. That's a nice little fish too. Right where it should be. Well, that's number one. What time is it? Uh, 7.32. We've been fishing, what, five minutes, ten minutes? Nice fish. Put that number one on the stringer. I just slide all those hooks down. Just drop this down in the live well. To get ready for the next one, just take the next hook up, slide it down. All right, see if we can get another one out of there. Right next to the swim platform. Oh, splash me. Nice eaters. They're not huge, but it'll keep them. Number two, let's back up. We'll just keep shooting till they quit biting. Oh man, he was on there. Missed him. That's my fault. Slow on the uptake. All right, one more time, then we're going to move around to the side. Unless we catch one. Oh, uh, popped it. Man, I just can't leave. I know there's another fish in there. Wow, that sun is bright. All right, let's move around this side. Ooh, that sun's gonna blind us. I think I'm on a leaf. Yep, that's the problem with fall fishing. A lot of leaves under these docks. Oh, come on, bluegill. Tapping on it. Another leaf. I'm cleaning all the leaves out. I know there are fish under this swim platform. I just know it. And it's funny, they'll get wadded up. You'll come in here, there'll be five openings. You can shoot three of them, never get a bite. Get on one and just sit there and catch fish after fish. They'll, they'll really group up and get tight.
There's one, finally dropped it through the leaves. Wow. Little one. Oh man, that's perfect there. Come on. Oh, there he is. Shot like that ought to catch a fish. Nice little fish there. Come right out of there. Thank you. All blacks. All right. It took a little work, but we got her done. We're gonna try it again. Oh, another great shot. No leaf, come on. Switch up on them. Okay, I'm getting frustrated with the leaves. One more time, we get a leaf, I'm done. Ah, that'd make a good shot, though. I'd like to blame that on the leaf, but there we go. Now, I already feel it. Ah, packed. Let's go. That sun's coming in the side of this dock, so it's not real shady. As you get on that side of the dock where it's shadier, it's where you're more likely to catch fish. See, we did the same thing on that one. We didn't catch anything on that sunny side of the dock, and as we moved over and got into the shadier, darker water, then we had more success. Of course, the swim platform was on that side too, as it is this one. These fish like that dark hiding spot. They hide in there and ambush their prey. This boat lift, the crossbar is only about three inches off the water. So you have to shoot your bait so that it basically just skims underneath that, hits the water and then skips on up further. Perfect, like skipping a stone. And a lot of times, these lifts that sit that low, that boat sits right down on the water, and they can be very productive. But not this one, not this morning. Not crazy about this dock. It's uh, wooden, obviously. It's got gaps in the board, so it lets more light through. So it's not nearly as dark under this dock and this swim platform as it is on a, a solid concrete or solid uh, top dock. They just don't seem like they hold the fish like the darker ones. Let's move on down. Okay, not much there. All right, we hit four docks that we came by. Not as productive as I would have hoped. What do we have, four or five fish? I'm gonna move, I'm gonna go around, uh, try to stay out where I can find some deeper water. May move right across out near that point. I think there's some deeper water there and uh, give it a change of location. Okay, we've moved over across the cove. I'm gonna shoot these docks. I didn't, I didn't motor by them and look first. I came over here to 
because it's got deep water, some big swim platforms, big boats. They just look good. So we'll see what we can do. See if we can get up under there and get another one. Got a little bit of gap. Got a sheet through. Oh, another one in there. I think that was a crappie bite. Nice little dock. 23, 24 feet of water. Oh, that was a great shot. Man, that sun is so bright I can't even see my line. deep that was way down there just getting ready to reel it in all right i'll just be patient if that's what you want there i mean he was that fish is on the bottom and 23 feet of water had to wait and wait and wait. Did you see that? Hope you did. Not huge, but he'll take up a hook on the stringer. Get repositioned. Let her fall and fall. Deep. Wad deep. Oh yeah, come on. They're fighters. I love catching me some crappie. Come out of there. Right in the tongue. Keep biting, I'll keep coming back. Man. <laughs> that one was up higher. It hadn't hardly fallen, fallen very far. They're just scattered under there. Just scattered. Well, did we catch them all out of that little hole? We're going to move around to the side of it, see if we can find a gap in the side and shoot back in it.
There he is. Come at him from the side. We're in 15 feet of water here. One more. Unless we catch one. There he is, right on the bottom. I mean, wow, these fish are down there. Hanging tight to the bottom. Boy, these are good eating fish. They're not tournament quality, but they sure will taste good. Okay, folks, I've uh, I got 11 fish in the box. I've hit a couple of more docks. Didn't do any good. I've run out of time. Got some things I need to do today. I'm going to take off. I hope you learned a little something this morning about how I approach this, what I look for. Sometimes it pans out. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you catch some good ones. Sometimes you don't. That's fishing. But uh, it's been a beautiful day. I've enjoyed it. I'm going to take my 11 fish and go to the house. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll subscribe. If you're not already a subscriber, you'll get notification when I come out with new videos. I have filmed uh, about three videos here in the last few days. I'm gonna try to go to work and edit those and get them on YouTube. And I hope you enjoy them. Thanks for being with me.